Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome to Art by Emma. So for this week's video, I have been down to my local Poundland. Yeah, Poundland. And um, on the little reduced shelf, I saw these little mirrors. Now, um, there's this one, this all um, knobbly bobbly. And this one that looks like, um, I don't know, a sun or something. Um, and they were only 50p. Bargain. I can't believe it. Oh, flashing lights at you. I can't believe it when I saw that they were only 50p. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try painting these for this week's video. So, uh, let's get on with it, shall we? So here are my two mirrors and it's really hard to film with these because they keep bouncing the uh, the light back so placement is everything. So yeah 50p per mirror and what an absolute bargain. First thing we have to do is get them out of the wrapper so it's out with the scissors. So with hole made in the plastic it's just a case of ripping it all off and exposing the beautiful mirror. Now I don't know why it's dirty because it's been in a wrapper but there you go. So first things first, I'm going to mast off the mirror because I do not want to get paint on there. Covering up the whole mirror, including that little piece in the middle, because uh, I don't want light keep bouncing back onto the camera because it's annoying. Now the shape of this one and everything about it is kind of reminding me of a watermelon slice path segment. So I'm trying to make myself a little watermelon pink to spread all over this lovely, lovely mirror frame. In my haste to start painting this project, I've missed out on a step and I don't know if it's going to come back and bite me on the bottom. I haven't gessoed it. Now it is quite a shiny surface, it's plastic, so uh, I'm just really hoping and praying that the paint is going to adhere onto it and uh, I seem to be getting some good coverage so far. So the watermelon pink looking lush there and it seems to have stuck to the surface okay so fingers crossed it stays there. It's now time to paint on some rind, the skin, the outer. Um, I would have liked to have gone thicker with this and um, to come down the sides a little bit more but you've got those bumps coming right up to the edge so I'm just going along the outer edge of it just to give the um, impression of the outside of my watermelon. I'm not 100% pleased with how this is looking with just this thin slither of skin around the watermelon but it's the best I can do I can't think of another alternative to do. So now it's time to turn all these little nobbles into seeds and yes it is going to be a very seedy pumpkin. So first of all I'm going to try with my Poscas. And that really doesn't seem to be working. So it's back to the Artesas. The Poscas were just, I don't know, it was just going to take me forever and a day. So I'm going with the luscious Arteza paints and covering all these nobbles with black to uh, be impressions of seeds in my watermelon. And the final step on my watermelon mirror is to seal it. So I'm using this um, acrylic varnish and I'm just going to paint this all over. I'm going to be very careful with this because sometimes when I've used it, it's spread the paint. It kind of, I don't know, but I've left this for a good 24 hours to dry. And I'm being quite sparing with the varnish, just covering all over to get a nice good seal. And hopefully seal it in good because I obviously missed out that step of mod podging it. And then finally, it's time to remove all of the masking tape to reveal the dirty, dirty mirror. And with that masking tape all removed, it's time to clean the mirror to make it all, look all nice and sparkly. Before moving on to my second mirror of this week's project. Um, when I first looked at this, I thought I was going to turn it into a lemon, a slice or a, a half segment of lemon. But my son, um, hi Joshua, he decided that it looked more like a pineapple ring. And I have to admit, he's kind of right. So I've mixed up this orangey, yellowy colour to be the skin of the pineapple and I'm just going to apply that to the outside edges of my pineapple mirror. And before I start painting the inside, it's time to mask up that mirror. 
Um, so for the inside, I've made this kind of pale yellow colour to act as the flesh of the pineapple. I'm just going to apply that to all the um, outside edges and also that little ring around the mirror. So orange outside and yellow innards I didn't think was pineapple enough so I'm trying to go a little bit extra and I've mixed up this paler yellow just to draw some little details on the inside just some little lines because looking at the pictures of the uh, pineapple circles that's what it seemed to have. So that was fun. Um, let me show you my two mirrors. So the first one, as you know, was my watermelon mirror. I did contemplate maybe turning it into a donut. It's got a bit of a Simpsons theme to it, but um, yeah. So I, I mixed up a watermelon pink and there's a little skin, rusk, whatever you call the outside peel of a watermelon with lots and lots and lots and lots of seeds. Um, so yeah, to keep it on a throop, to keep it on a fruit theme, I looked at my other one and I thought it looked a bit like a pineapple ring. A pineapple ring, yeah. So um, it looks more like a sun maybe, but it's um, it's a stylized pineapple ring. Um, off of camera, I just went a little bit thicker on the edges here just to to give it a bit more of a skin type look but yeah those are my two mirrors i'm gonna hang them up here somewhere find some space for them and um i actually really enjoyed doing them so uh thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed my video which i hope you did because i enjoyed making it for you please give me a thumbs up if you've seen any of my other videos and you like them why don't you subscribe to the channel i'm here every friday um and i will see you next week thank you so so much for watching Goodbye.